Hey, what's going on guys? Timsy here, and today we're going to continue our How to Defend series, moving on to Blue Bar and Sunrise on the map Coastline. If this is the first video in the series that you are watching, make sure to go down to the description below and check out all of the other maps and sites that I've done so far. We have a lot more videos coming in the future, so if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that and hit the notification bell. It helps me out a ton, and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content. But anyways, let's get into the video. So when it comes to defending Blue Bart and Sunrise, there are two operators that I highly recommend bringing, and that's going to be some sort of shock, and so that could be a Smoke or a Mute, and then as for the second one, it's going to be a Jaeger. Besides those two operators, the rest can kind of be up to you, but here are my suggestions. I recommend Maestro, a Malusi, Pulse, Valk, a Mira if she's available, Mazi, Legion, kind of any one of those kind of flex operators, um, completely up to you. So when it comes to reinforcements, you're going to want to get the two mudroom walls on the left hand side, two couch walls facing blue bar, one couch wall facing kitchen hallway, two of the blue bar walls facing office, at least one of these kitchen walls, the hookah hatch, and then I like to get one if not two of these hookah walls on left and right hand side of the door so that you can use this to kind of roam top floor early to apply a little bit of pressure. Now let's talk about utility. All right, so starting out with smoke, we're going to go over some of the rotate holes in line of sight. So I like to make a rotate hole between centers and blue bar, as you always should have a rotate between the two objectives. But you're also going to want to make feet holes across the entire blue bar wall towards lobby or towards square, because realistically, you're not going to be playing inside of blue bar. This is just extremely difficult to play inside of blue bar realistically. So you can pretty much just cover it from lobby if you can hold lobby control. You're going to reinforce two of the couch walls, even, you know, even all three, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's up to you if you can do all three as long as they all get done. Besides that, I like to make a line of sight on the left hand side. And this is just so I can throw my smokes over, I can use the reinforcement as cover, I can jiggle peek and throw my smoke over to the typical default plan, which is usually behind the blue bar. Besides that, you don't really have a whole lot else to make. Maybe your teammates might like some specific holes, but realistically, those are the primary holes in line of sight that you want to make. As for your shield, I kind of like to place mine right around here. Um, so one, if a team does a sunrise push and they try to plant behind the bomb chassis in sunrise, I can still play couch relatively safely. Of course, a lot of people like to take vertical control, but I could still use the shield to one, peek over, and two, I could still smoke mudroom pretty safely from behind that shield. And this is pretty much going to be the spot you play for the most part. You kind of just move wherever you need to. As I said, people like to take vertical control, so you might not be able to play in certain positions, like behind couch or behind bar, because they could just go and hook it and blow above. Same with blue bar. As I said, blue bar is extremely difficult to play, so you might need to run around a bit. But uh, realistically, you just want to play in the site somewhere and kind of float around to where you think you need to play at. All right, moving on to Jaeger, you're going to go ahead and get the two mudroom walls on Sunrise. You're going to go ahead and place your ADSs down. I usually like to place one behind the Sunrise bar, the Sunrise couches, and then typically at least one inside of Kitchen so that the person playing Kitchen can kind of have some sort of projectile coverage. And then as for your barbed wire, I like to place one on the mudroom door leading into Sunrise. And then I like to place the other one at the top of the Cool Vibe series. On this room, you're pretty much going to want to play up top early, shoot some drones, waste a little bit of time, try to hold a little bit of the map control because vertical pressure on this map is extremely important to try and deny as long as possible because on this site in particular, the top floor control pretty much clears the entire site for the most part, entire blue bar, almost the majority of, of sunrise. So you're going to want to roam up here as long as possible and you're going to coordinate with your other roamer to either hold hookah, top cool vibes, or play pool table, play aqua, even run over and play, you know, penthouse theater and waste your time like that. Maybe hit flanks, but I'm not really going to tell you guys how to roam, but you definitely should be roaming as Jaeger on this objective. Moving on to Maestro, you're going to go ahead and get two of the blue barred office walls. You're going to place a barbed wire at the blue barred door. And then as for your other one, typically I would say put it inside of kitchen to just contest service or just to have some sort of, you know, info. On service, you can either place it here at this cutoff, or you can just place it inside of kitchen on the service door so that they're forced to break that before they enter. And then as for your evil eyes, I like to place one in each site. And here are just a couple spots that I like to use. I like to place one next to the sunrise bar because you could see pretty much the entire west and north side push that a lot of teams typically do. And then as for blue bar, I usually like to just hop up on this couch and throw it up here. And you can use this to see the majority of blue bar and a little bit into office. As for positioning, 
you're going to be in sight with the smoke. And as I said, with smoke, there's not a whole lot of spots you can play, uh, depending on if the attackers have top control. So you might have to, you know, play pot of cool vibes. You might be able to play behind the sunrise bar. You might have to play under the default cam on blue bar door. You might be playing inside of kitchen. It, it really depends on what's going on throughout the round. But you will definitely kind of be floating around site, helping out the smoke in any way that you can and helping out just the objective in general. Moving on to Belusi, you're going to go ahead and get this last couch wall in Sunrise, unless Smoke has already done so. Then you're also going to get the right side kitchen wall. And when it comes to Belusi, you can switch her out with anything else. You could bring a pulse. Um, I'm going to show Valk in this video as well. That'll, that'll be next. But you can switch this with any other operator you think would be more viable. Same with the Maestro. If you have a Valk, you can definitely get off the Maestro if the Valk cams are placed well enough near the site or in the site so that you can have all the info you need. Um, you can switch the Maestro for another Roamer, like a Mozzie, but besides reinforcements, you're going to go ahead and place your Banshees. I like to place one in front of Mud Door. The other one I like to do is inside of Blue Bar, and typically if they open up the wall, you should be able to get a majority of the pressure, or majority of the, the range on the Banshee to cover the Breach and the door at the same time, and even the window hop in if they try to push through Blue Bar. As for your last Banshee, I like to place it on Cool Vibes, and I just like to place it on this wall. The reasoning behind this is you do have Barb at the upper half of Cool Vibes. Realistically, you're not going to be able to hold all of the top control a majority of the time, so the reason the barbed wire is here is so that you know, you know, they have to break this barbed wire before they push down Cool Vibes. And then you also have this Banshee here to kind of worry about that as well. When it comes to Malusi, you're going to be playing inside of Kitchen early, um, early round, so that you can pretty much hold Kitchen while the Jaeger and the Valk kind of roam upstairs. And then, you know, if you need to flank, if you think you have an opening, if the, you know, attackers aren't pushing your, your service or your front lobby, maybe you can flick up white, maybe you can hold lobby control, uh, because you will have those feet holes across the entire blue ball wall, so you can contest the plants or the entries into blue bar and all of that. All right, moving on to Valkyrie, you're going to be the one that goes up top and gets the hatch and the single hookah vase wall. And then as for your Valk cams, I'm not really going to tell you where to throw them, but I will recommend some spots that you can use them. So definitely one inside of Sunrise, and I put it up here in this corner. You can place it anywhere you think would be you know, better, um, just because you want to worry about the mudroom push and the default plan is typically on the couch behind the bomb, so you want to have some sort of info on that. As for the next cam, I threw one inside of Courtyard, I just threw it on this tree. You could find a better spot in here, but realistically with the feet holes across this entire wall, you could see pretty much all of blue bar, which is what you want to have info for. So it is kind of a bad spot right there, but you can definitely can find something a little bit more viable inside of courtyard that will look a little bit better. But realistically, you just want to have info on the inside of blue bar. As for your third valve camp, you can kind of use it wherever you think you need to. Um, you could use it upstairs for a nitro that you want to, you know, play vertically for um, or something along those lines. And then when it comes to the roam, you're just going to communicate with Jaeger. I'm not going to tell you guys how to roam in this game, um, but, you know, whatever you're comfortable with, realistically, like I said, you want to roam up top, shoot some drones, waste some time, try to hold map control, you know, at least for a little bit and then give it up and then try to play um, horizontal and play, you know, um, kitchen, try to play lobby because you can contest all of blue bar from lobby and you can utilize the smoke and nitros to contest the mudroom push on the sunrise side, but that's about it. Anyways guys, that's going to be all from me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did so, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell. It helps me out a ton and it lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content and you guys won't miss any future videos. We have a lot more maps in store for this series. So if you guys want to leave some comments down below and suggest the next map that we do, then let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.